back to She Living. I am your host, Angela. Welcome to another Cook With Me. This is Vlogmas Day 10, I think it is. And I'm doing another Cook With Me. Okay, I got, what am I cooking? Can y'all guess before y'all? Okay, I'm doing dumpling. I'm doing chicken and dumpling. I have my big stock pot here for my chicken. These are the seasonings that I'm using. I'm using black pepper, garlic powder, red pepper, uh, salt, all-purpose seasoning, and seasoning salt. I do not have my husband's mix because he hadn't made me any more. And this is my flour for my dumpling. And I'll show y'all how I make that. But right now, we're just going to get this chicken in this pot and we want to season it really really good that is the key to dumpling listen it need to be seasoned good and another thing if you're making chicken and dumpling and you have too much water i always kind of perfectly put too much water in here because you can always use it for chicken broth so i'm just gonna start putting and i'm using dark meat as you can see, and I, I I might got too many. I might got too many because this this is a long chicken. So I might just um one four. But it really turns into like shreds once it's done. So it'll be good. It'll be good. Okay. I got all the chicken in there. So I'm going to start seasoning. Okay. First going in is seasoning salt. And again, you want to make, you just want to make sure that it's seasoned real good. And you can be able to taste once it starts getting, you know, close to this is black pepper. You want to season this water really, really good because you want a good broth for those dumplings. This is garlic powder. I mean, you want to get it in. You want to get it in with the seasoning, okay? Salt, 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 salt. And then going to come in with all-purpose seasoning. I bet y'all saying, you putting a lot, but look, look, look at this pot. This pot is big, okay? So, and, and it's, it's full. It's full with chicken and water. So, that means I need to... Get it seasoned really good. And this is just pepper, uh, red pepper flakes. So I'm going to stir it really good and let it cook for a little bit. You know, I'm going to come back to it in about an hour and see where that. And by the time I come back to it in that hour, I probably have my dumplings ready, but I'm gonna show y'all how I do those too. Okay.